moment. Look at Ali give him the word. So the stage is set. We're just about ready. Today we're going to be watching uh, George Foreman versus Muhammad Ali. Ready to begin. Uh, in 1974. Round one, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. We're going to be on. Um, there can be no be, more uh, pure form of sport than a heavyweight it's, championship it's, it's, fight I, when two individuals, it, it, finally soon athletes, climb into the play. ring. This time, the championship is at stake in $5 million dollars will be paid to both fighters. Ali ready, Foreman ready, we're waiting for the opening bell. The enthusiasm the begins to mount here. Uh, we're not gonna One thing we want to look out for is just how fast this man, George Foreman, will open. As we mentioned, in his past several fights, he hasn't gone in the past four years beyond two rounds in any fight. Can Ali dance and stay away from him? Is George Foreman's thundering punches going to be too much for him? Is the left hook that is so devastating, the tremendous left hook going to stop Ali. Here we go, Ali quickly across first. the round. Round one, Ali bouncing around, shifting left for right. George. So right here, um, how about Ali hit him with the left, with the left jab and then a white hook, I think. And George oh, oh, Ali gets the first punch in, a right, right, right hand, taken on the forehead by George Foreman, the him. champion. Foreman moving slow, trying How to stop his man. Ali looks uh, like he's ready to go here. Hit. He's not staying away. He's going after the man. Foreman is kind of in. Foreman a bit cautious in the first round. Chance. Looking to drop that left. Say, George Foreman's cautious. Oh, uh, he's a strong man. Foreman starts this man to the far corner. There's that left uppercut. Mm -hmm. to the jab to the here, uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is making Ali tries to hang on to the head. Which, um, how would I thought that if I used, um, something called the Wolfway Dopes, where if George Foreman kept coming at him, how would I would go like this and hang on the ropes, where oh, George Foreman dances now, moves Ali with a right hand lead again, has Foreman slightly controlled. See, every time Foreman, like, goes with the punch in his stomach, right hand lead, which I haven't seen too many times before, Ali's certainly dancing, slipping punches, sliding around, both ways, Foreman's idea is to back him off into the corner. I hear George hit him right in the whips, but how would I tap on, like, He's pushing his head down. When they get tight, they wail well away with that vicious crook to the body of Muhammad Ali. Ali lashes out what with a right left. Uh -huh. Right hand. 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 Right Ali's really kind of hard, but Ali's wasting the choice of Foreman with a vicious uppercut misses, sticking it to the head of Ali. Ali stands back, ties his man up, leans on the rope, tells him, whispers in his ear. This is only round one, but Ali has a four round one. He's just wasting the choice of Foreman. 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 Ali Taken on the side of the head of Muhammad Ali. Ali continues to try to tie his man up. Zach Clayton. Well, it's just, just like coming out. Wild left hand, vicious hook. Yes. There's a real strong right hand just underneath the heart. Like and Muhammad Ali is taking some punishment now. About 25 seconds left in the George round. George hits Muhammad Ali in the liver. Then Ali maybe Muhammad Ali will be stunned. Because he can hit the liver. That can actually um, hurt a lot. George so. Foreman slightly confused. But a straight left jab thrown by Foreman. Has Ali in the corner. Ali dances back. Hangs on. What a tremendous, tremendous face. He enjoyed the rules. Kind of damaging Ali, but Ali was just Muhammad pushing Ali. his head. Ali. Zach Clayton, the referee, separates him. About eight seconds left in the round. Round one. Foreman and Ali. Foreman Ali get off his stool in between rounds. George face. Foreman sat down all the way. Ali with a back up against the rope. He's talking to Foreman still. Ali tries to tie him up. No real damage done in that exchange at all by either fighter. Round two just on the way. That wild left hand that George Foreman throws. Is George is kind of like just trying to, to knock Ali. out Ali's. With the, with the big punches. And then always just like putting his head down. Which is actually actually a good thing because George Foreman hits hard. So if Ali gets hit by too many punches, he might fall. 
Because George Foreman, um, he won against, I'm not going to say, but all we had to do was fight later on. So. Over the right eye of George Foreman at this point, although Ali has... I hear George Foreman trying to lose a bit. Ali is definitely headhunting with his right hand lead. A good right hand taken on the left side of the jaw by Muhammad Ali. And there's those vicious hooks to the midsection of Ali. Ali Don't worry, this isn't 15 the rounds. The, the fight only George lasts. Is head himself. Well, Ali say, tries it, doesn't to hang it doesn't last the more than not quite what 10 rounds. Round one. Ali backs up, leans out, takes advantage of the reach. Foreman tries to work the body. Neither one of those punches did any damage. None of those punches are doing any damage at all. People are saying the, the, the punch, the left, the, the person, the announcer is saying the punches aren't doing damage. The punches are doing damage. They're always trying to stay away from all I can take a punch. Like damage, left hand to the face. Up like always just like trying to avoid. Foreman pushing the head back of Ali, and Ali hangs. Because Ali was hurting after the fight. George Foreman, I'm gonna get hit. He's not the hardest punch. I think he's one of the hardest. The wild left hand is not scoring, not getting through. Left jab right in the button, thrown by Ali. Another left jab. He are always hanging on the ropes. And Foreman continues to wail at the body of Muhammad Ali. Walkie Bell, but we used to do it in the walkie bell. Like, the right eye of George like Foreman. The right eye that was up in training. Still cannot see if it's puffy at all. George Foreman continues to stalk Ali. Tries to get through with a straight left jab. An improved left jab. There's a vicious, awkward, but very powerful hook. Both hands, left hooks, and what would really be a good one. after the other rounds later, because this is a long video. Ali inviting him to punch. Shows him the tremendous Ali slipping a punch. My question is, how come the body to the side? So, like, Ali backs up and jabs, he backs up. About 15 rounds, non-stop. An even fight to this point. The pace has definitely slowed down in round two. Oh, a great left hand! An over and under combination. Left hand and then the right on the jaw. Taken by the champion George Foreman. There's a left hand in the eye of Foreman. Ali scoring some punches here. These punches are not hurting him that he's taking on the side of the head. 30 seconds left in round two. Look at Ali. Continues to talk. Ali's, talk. Ali's talking to this warrior. He's just yelling at him. In the fight, he would push his head down and say, is that all you got, George? <laughs> the it was, was kind of funny, but right I felt George Foreman was sad at him. The left hand, a lightning flicking left to the right eye of George Foreman. Ten seconds left in round number two. Oh, like, now uh, he's pulling what he did against Joe Frazier. If it's left in the fight. Hand. No, no, he says. The left hand gets through again. There's the bell ending the round. Left eye, not the right eye. Okay, well, so I'm going to react to more of this later on. If y'all wanna see um this want more left, I'll stay here. Um go subscribe to this guy, he is he's a great he's a great guy. Um well this the end of this video. Stay here. Stay Okay well uh um I'll uh react to the other the other two two rounds later on in another video. Well um peace